then the other issue is the issue of uh, acquiring of land uh, by these investors and also the state. Usually, uh, the raw is a way of what is happening. We are just seeing people coming with maps. They have already gone into the field. They have even demarcated the land. They have even taken to council. Council has already approved. Then now they come now just for a concert without uh, following the proper channel of them. First passing through the wilderness, we engage the village gentlemen. We ensure that there are no people buying that land for us to, to give it out. So it is happening that if after council has approved and it comes to you, you are tied. You would want to, to sign for that land and then the people rise afterwards to say you have sold our land. So it is viewed as if we are, we are selling the land. In the actual sense, it's the procedure that is not being followed as people are acquiring that land. Uh, there are some certain chief blocks that require electrification. Excellent. The Kabinga chief dome is the only chief dome remaining in the Kachuya district, which is not electrified. Which means even the palace for his royalness, chief Kabinga, is not connected to the national grid. The other area that needs also electrification is chief Mubanga's area. Some certain places are electrified, whereby even the poles are at, at his palace. But his palace is not electrified, and it is three years now. He has been put, running up and down to see to it that his palace is electrified, but it has yielded nothing. I think the other issue is the issue of Chama, to excellency, if you check the geography of Chama, you will realize that Chama coming here, it's about 200 kilometers. Then going to Chipata, it's about 370 something. Then apart from that, about 60 chief domes are closer to here. So if we pick on Chief Murilo and Chief Chibane, Chief Chivale, the, the, the closest district is Isoka. So they have to come from where they are coming from. They use Muyombe Road. They come to Isoka. Then they have to come, pass through Chinsari. They pass through Matumbo. Then they go to Chama. That's when they proceed now going to, to Chipata. So our request is that uh, we are requesting your office if we uh, there can be a provision to create another district from Chama so that uh, those who are closer to Muchinga can have a district and they start reporting to Muchinga the closest. Then the other part remains with the eastern province. So that is the request also. I think uh, these are some of uh, the issues. We thought uh, them they can even be captured. Uh, Your yeah, Excellency, which we have done with the presentation, I'm asking you to respond to some of the queries that have come from our audiences. <coughs> Okay, thank you very much. Uh, uh, first and foremost, um, uh, just to acknowledge uh, why Shamfumu, why here, or the Royal Highnesses who are present here in this meeting, and um, including those that are not present here, we know that they are represented by. Uh, those that are present. May I acknowledge my colleagues, cabinet colleagues that are here, and the provincial minister, and other government officials, my colleagues, members of parliament uh, that are present um, from different parties. As I've said in the past, 
that the elections took place in 2021, uh, between 2021 and 2026 is to work for the people, is to deliver for the people. The elections will come again in 2026, and that's when we start doing the contestation politically. The mayor of uh, uh, Chinsali, who is here, the district chairman uh, from Pika, I'm very happy that he's here because I was never allowed even to refuel in Pika uh, for, for 15 years. Uh, Council chairman is yes, present. So it's good that we can sit in one place to, to today. No fighting, no sticks, no tear gas. But I couldn't enter Pika as a citizen of this country. And I felt extremely, uh, very, very bad. I couldn't enter Shuangandu myself. I couldn't even come here to have a meeting like this. So this to me, Your Royal Highness, is, is how it should be. It is how it should be because we are saving the same people and uh, the Constitution provides for an electoral process, an electoral season. Once the people of Zambia have decided, we must all embrace uh, those decisions that have been made. I say this in front of the camera, in front of yourselves, so that you can assist also in delivering that message to our people that uh, the days of fighting are over. The days of sticks, guns, East African Arab traders invading us, those days are over. Uh, now is to work as one country, like I said yesterday, uh, the commemoration of KK at 100, uh, unity and diversity. Uh, Bishop uh, Chulu preached very well yesterday and uh, you spoke to your representative. We embrace all those words that we're saying, but we must walk the talk, Your Royal Highness. And we're one people, one Zambia, one nation, one people. We're one family. Uh, how we speak our, I call it how we twist our tongues, does not matter, it's a gift from God. And it doesn't become a source of conflict, a source of fights, a source of hatred against each other. It's absolutely unacceptable that we can do things like that. And um, I think unity is the platform we should use uh, to deliver we and Tanshi to our people. I wanted to say that um, uh, in this manner because I think it's important that we don't return to those days when uh, Mpika was a no-go area for some of us and Shuangandu was a no-go area. How can that be? Citizens are free. To, to go anywhere. The Constitution provides for that. I think I've said enough of that. All of that is meant to reinforce our desire as a government to unify this country, to bring our people together, and for one quest, development. I said it already. So with that, Your Royal Highnesses, I want to indicate that uh, the issues we've raised are uh, welcome. This is the way it should be again. We must interact in this manner. We take note of them. I won't single each one of them, but the first thing is the communication you talked about. The importance of us talking to each other, sharing challenges on the ground. Uh, and then we who are elected into these offices, councillors, uh, council chairpersons, mayors, members of parliament, uh, ministers in the additional roles, this fellow speaking here uh, as president needs to know the challenges on the ground. I want to pinch the background. What are the priorities of those people in that particular area? And I think we can then embrace all of those issues and uh, take them on board and analyze them properly. This one, the other council of Akuchinsari, Kavien Valekin Babombele, Ia Kumpika, Ia Uku. So that's the way I will treat the issues of race. So, but communication is important. I agree with you. I think we must do better in that area. You talked about the roads, infrastructure, very, very important. Uh, but we've also capacitated the councils, Your Royal Highnesses. Never before have this country ever moved money from Lusaka headquarters and taken it to the local authorities, to the constituencies, so that the constituencies and the councils can decide the priorities and manage or deliver on those priorities, such as certain basic roads must be done by the council, because the councils have now, through Constituent Development Fund, 
a board capacity, have capacitated themselves through road equipment. I was asking the mayor there, have you bought road equipment yesterday? Have you bought road equipment? So that certain roads are a local responsibility. So, but certain roads, some you have indicated, require to be approached at uh, beyond the district, at a province, at a national level. So, totally agree with you. Um, but we must also acknowledge that um, uh, a lot of these things should have been done 10 years, 20 years ago. We were never, never done these bridges. Where was the money going? That's a question. We've only been in office ourselves two years, six months. But it looks like we've been in office for ten years. But it's only two years, six months. And we're trying our best. Within the two years, six months, we had to deal with the debt restructure. It was so huge. Now, I can proudly indicate to you, Bashamfum, we managed to restructure the debt of our country. So it means now we can have more resources available. To give you an idea, without debt restructuring, the way our PF friends left in Kongole, Kwabula uh, development on the other side, we must be honest with ourselves. The debt must have led to huge development. It's not there. The, we would have been paying in the next 10 years $7.5 billion of debt service. Kwesan Kongole. With this debt restructuring now, in the same 10 years, we will only be paying $750 million. Let's take it per year. One year without debt restructuring, which we have achieved, would have been paying $750 million per year. With debt restructuring, now we will only be paying $75 million. Because in the, I, I'm saying this because in the sana. That way they've just you know, postponed the debt. Just a euro bond, we reduced the debt quantum right off by 708, no, hang on, 730 million dollars, which has been written off. I think for yourself and others, you must know what that means. So we negotiated that right down. We negotiated to extend the repayment period. We negotiated to reduce the interest rates in a number of cases, hence the numbers I'm talking about. Why am I saying that with this now job done, very difficult job, uh, Senior Chief Nkula, we are the first country to achieve this debt restructuring under the global G20 framework, first ever. Other countries are now going to learn from us. I think we must appreciate as a nation the amount of work that has gone on behalf of the people of Mukwikile, the people of Kabinga, the people of Nkula, the people of uh, a senior chief copper, all of them will benefit from that. And now we should be able to do a bit more on the infrastructure. That's where I'm going. We should be able to do a bit more on the schools. People criticize CDF. I can assure you we will never, ever walk away from CDF because it's able to deliver certain things in your chiefdom directly by the people through their priorities. So we'll continue increasing it, but we'll continue also working on important uh, roads like that. I thought I should give a general response in that way. Specific issues, you know, towers, yes. Many, many other things. We'll take note of the issues we raised and look at them and then work with yourselves. Maybe you'll give us a contact person for the Royal Highnesses, Vasham Fumba Muchinga, so that the direct contacts. Kariaka Navesa Mwashte Reizi. And then we communicate to your colleagues. So I, I, I can only suggest that we get one of you as a key contact. You decide who, one or two, and then we have our normal process to communicate and also with the councils, uh, specific councils, specific uh, uh, provincial issues under his office. Then we'll work out all of that. I thought I should answer in that way, uh, Your Royal Highnesses. But thank you for raising the issues that you've raised. And they are very, very important. And I must also say to you that we are doing what we're doing here to all the 10 provinces of Zambia.
like I said yesterday. CDF goes to every constituent displacement portion same day. All the constituents will get money. Under BF, CDF was only 1.6 million question. And I can say here that UPND constituencies in five years will get CDF once. But this government is dispersing, dispersing CDF to all the constituencies on the same day. If it's 10 million out of 30, it goes to constituents one can it will go to the 156. That's the way we think the country must be run. And, but sometimes we also wonder, where was the money going? Because the money was coming here. But where is the development? Because I'm traveling around now and my eyes are... But development is queen. But that is the past. We want to hold hands going forward together as one people. And your farm blocks issue, sir, I got your message. I got your message. Levy, you got the message. When a farm block is created, it's not for the officers at lands. It is for the intended people who use the land, not to just hold on to it and sell it to the, to the Chinese. So I think they are ministers. We must pick up that matter and take it straight to cabinet. That matter must go straight to cabinet, so we have a proper review of all the farm, farm, farm blocks, who owns them, who by that we will know. Who you is an official. How do they get 5,000 hectares? They're supposed to be doing work. Like Dr. Mwanga said, we in public office must work to save the people, not to save ourselves. When we save the people, our interests will also be taken care of. Councils do the same. They, they create plots. If there are 100 plots, 80 of them are taken by council workers. But the plots are meant for the people. So that, I have paid particular attention to that. And I must openly say that I don't like that. We don't like that. We are here to serve, Bashanfum. We are your servants. Unlike you who are chiefs because of your parentage, I'm a president because of election. MPs, my colleagues, ministers, because of an election, mayor. So we must save the people. This thing, I want to say to your Royal Highnesses, we need your support. When we fight corruption, I must say, sometimes the corrupt rush to you, the chiefs, to say, oh, Dimine Popa, when we are fighting corruption, in the fight against corruption. That Munta send that twenty four million dollars. Ya ja law. Muntuunga. Na mufa pa ba ba Muntu Mwali se Ali send the twenty four million dollars Ya Chalo through KCM. I become bank account Ya Kwe Muntu Mo. We've taken that away and we brought it back to the people. Same person got properties worth hundred million quarts. Same person. Same person got cash sixty million. When you add these figures, it's almost 800 million kwacha mundum. When the state takes it, babu tuka, baya kuli bashan fumu, ajebali nchusha. Because shiri mshan, shan, shiri mutonga, shiri mshan. No, 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 no. This is where we must draw a line, our way. This is, because our nation is very European. Remember? Well, I'll take one to Makane. Eh? and Mr. Disappear. So, I want to make an appeal here, and I make it consciously on camera that we must join hands in fighting corruption. The corruption you talked about, land in the farming world, is only one small thing, it extends to bigger things. So, let's work together. The palm. Farm plantation I've had, 
I think we need to run it differently. This government don't, doesn't want to run it the way it's running. It cannot be successful the way it's running. We have ideas, but we'll come back to you. The land issue, let me return to it. There are two types of land only. State land, on title, and then customary land. Customary land is under you. There is no way someone can give the land under you and only come to you for a signature. The process by mayor is very simple. Where is the chairman for Vika? The process is very simple. The process is very simple. Someone wants to convert customary land into state land, which is on title, first has to go to the village headman. The village headman go to Bashanfum. That's the process. Grassroots, Bashanfum. Number three, council. It cannot come from the from whoever to the council and then back to the chief. The truth is that this is the process. That's how it works. If the process has not been followed, just say no. And this president will support you. 100%. 100%. But the truth is that many chiefs, many of you are involved in giving the land. Then in Kalipa, then is not in the council. I'm aware that under a cabinet meeting, we had to cancel processes of title in northwestern province. One, the colleagues from the previous government got, gave friends 57,000 hectares. 57,000. In that case, the chief signed. But as president, have cancelled it. Because there are people who live there. Because at that point, it has to come, come to the president. Above, help me, Above uh, 250 is a um, council, isn't it? 250. To 1,000 is the minister of land. Above 1,000 is the president. Where I'm sitting, but Chief Mkula, Senior Chief Mkula, I'm not signing. My colleagues, no? I'm not signing unless the process was followed properly. If it's too big, I refuse to sign because I'm here for the people. So those who are doing what they are doing, they are wasting time because this president won't sign the titles. Epela. If they do it illegally, we shall cancel the title. They do it legally with your support, with the support of your village headmen also, and the people, and for development, not for speculation to sell, to pocket. It's the same. Mtu has sent the $24 million. Ya chalo. Avi kamungi tumba. Umbi has sent the land illegally. Ashitisha, $10 million. It's corruption. It's not right. And I'm sorry if people are complaining to you, uh, asking for your support to Ombele Chapama, to protect the resources of this nation across the country, for the people. But we need development. Without investment, we cannot have development. We can't have jobs. We can't have businesses. So the two must be managed properly. I hope I've clarified by and large the issues you've raised. And I'm really very happy that you've raised those issues myself. I'm sure my colleagues are also happy. So one farm was 57,000 hectares. Another one was uh, 35,000 hectares. Where one of our ministers, his grandparents' grave seat, Brenda Tambatans, Mikasem. And our friends from PF gave a title, 35,000 hectares. No consultation. And my colleague just signed, who was seated here before me. I've cancelled it. It's not right. But let's work together. This, this, this region is rich. Northern Corridor is rich. There's rain, there's surface water. We need to irrigate, we need to farm. That's why those farming blocks are very important to us. So let's take this item to cabinet colleagues and review this matter to support production of food not to take away the opportunity. Uh, and yesterday I said, uh, Your Royal Highness Wankula, I want to be so we need to teach them to invest, to have a mind of investment. We give them licenses. There's Kabuzu, Chanda there. How many of our minds 
I instructed him, I said, Baka was to give license to Zambians. You give a license, cannabis to Zambia, Akachel, I send a license. Tungulo, I will cap a WhatsApp, mine on sale. Just ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand dollars, two hundred and forty thousand kwacha. I asked Taka Motoka. Taka Tenda. So what mentality is that? How are we going to develop? So I wanted you to hear from me directly here to Wombere Chapamu. Let's teach our people to be patient, to be investment, you need patience. Nothing comes easy. Zambians think that you can live a better life just city. That culture must change. I'm sorry to say so, but I mean it. Thank you very much.